movie is so stupid. From the filmmaker who ruined not one, not two, but three different superheroes, <laughs> comes Catwoman for men. Daredevil. <laughs> Before Netflix and Marvel Studios team up to hopefully do the character justice, return to the early 2000s when superhero movies were still full of crappy CGI, Matrixing, <clears throat> Sopranos, and Izzy's. Wilson Fisk is in the hizzy. Fresh off Pearl Harbor and Geely, 2003's oh, least favorite actor Ben Affleck stars as Matt Murdock. A boy granted superpowers after running face first into an absurd amount of gigantic unsecured <laughs> toxic waste containers. With his eyesight taken from him, he'll use his other four senses to see perfectly, yet still dress up like a blind guy to score sympathy points with hot chicks. What are you blind? Yeah. I am so sorry. That's okay. <laughs> Which gives Ben Affleck an excuse to show off his stupid cross-eyed dirt face. <laughs> Irma Gerd, it's the Derb Devil. By day, he's a lawyer who's <laughs> terrible at his job. Another rapist back on the streets. But by <laughs> night, he's the daredevil. A vigilante who beats up the man he's too incompetent to prosecute. <laughs> I was acquitted. Not by me. <laughs> and lets innocent people die so he can have PG-13 sex with Jennifer <laughs> Carter. I have to go. Stay with me. Cheer for a superhero who's barely more powerful than your average cop as this poor, poor man Spider-Man fights crime with an odd grab bag of powers like super jumping, <laughs> creepy smelling, and super heart rate monitoring. <laughs> so he's a human lie detector and he still can't win a case? Wow. Just wow. Along for the ride on Daredevil's generic directionless quest for justice is Electra <laughs> Nachios, a girl who, for the first half of the movie, is really just there to look hot. You are so beautiful. Pretty much. You look beautiful. Beautiful tonight. I wanted to look beautiful for you. So hot that Matt will add stalking and sexual harassment to his growing list of crimes. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a second. Take it easy. I don't like being touched. Why don't you tell me what you do like? We'll start there. See, kids? If a girl doesn't like you, beat her up until she changes her mind. <laughs> Witness the least subtle superhero movie <laughs> since Batman and Robin as Elektra and Daredevil team up against the Kingpin, a man who wants to be a Kingpin, and Bullseye, a man who targets things. As if the giant f***ing target on his head wasn't enough of a giveaway. Bullseye. <laughs> But if you still manage to get lost, don't worry, because Ben Affleck will explain everything in voiceover that sounds like he's just waking up from a coma. My sense of sound gave off a kind of radar sense. There are days <laughs> when I believe, and others when I have lost all faith. I had set out to save the city, but with Electra's help, I saved myself instead. <laughs> Sorry, what? <laughs> so settle in for what's basically Ben Affleck's what? really disappointing audition to be the next Batman, where he mm -hmm. plays a brooding loner who becomes a vigilante crime fighter after his dad is murdered by criminals in an alley, uses a ridiculous Batman voice when he's in costume. What do you want? Justice. Stay out of Hell's Kitchen. Travels by <laughs> grappling hook. <laughs> he is scared of bats. <laughs> and refuses to kill. That's the sea train! I'm gonna, I'm gonna... Oh, wait, never mind. He'll totally <laughs> kill. I'm not the bad guy. Yeah, you kind of are, though. <laughs> Starring a soundtrack full of the 2000s worst new metal bands <laughs> POD, Hooba Stank, Cedar, <laughs> Drowning Pool, Evanescence, Evanescence oh. again, and Nickelback. Nickelback. Bad flag begins. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, that was ridiculous. Um, shouldn't that be in Braille? Be sure to subscribe for more honest trailers. Don't ever call me <laughs> Kitty. If karma doesn't come around and slap you in the oh, face, I my will. God. I'm a banana.
you have a superhero movie for me? Yes, sir, I do. It's about a guy named Matt Murdock who becomes a superhero named Daredevil. Oh, can he dive off rooftops like Spider-Man? Well, he's blind <laughs> with heightened senses, so I don't really think that would make sense. People like Spider-Man, though. He dives <laughs> off of rooftops. Yeah, okay, but this guy does <laughs> have him dive off of rooftops like Spider-Man. I mean, okay, we can have him dive off a rooftop like Spider-Man, but then what does he do? <laughs> he can, like, land on a window washing platform. That'll make it okay. Oh, uh, that doesn't seem less dangerous than okay. landing on the ground, though. We can pretend like it is. Well, okay, then. So anyway, we're gonna meet Matt when he's a kid, <laughs> and his dad, who's a boxer, makes him promise that he's not gonna hit anything but the books. Okay. And one day he sees that his dad is working for the mob, so he runs away but gets biohazard juice in his eyes. Oh, biohazard <laughs> juice is tight. Yeah, so he loses his vision, but his other senses get super heightened, like sound is crazy overwhelming. Oh, very cool. Yeah, so later Matt's dad is supposed to be throwing a boxing match for the mob, but Matt is in the audience like, come on, dad, get up. If sounds are so overwhelming, how can Matt hear what's going on in the fight in the middle of a cheering crowd? I don't know. Fair enough. So then later his dad gets killed in an alley and, you know, Bruce is super sad. Did you say Bruce? <laughs> nope. So then he vows to keep the promise he nope. made to his dad, you know, to serve justice. I thought the promise was to hit nothing but books. Oh yeah, he doesn't like that though, so he trains for the opposite oh. of that. Well, okay then. So grown up Matt is a lawyer now and he's trying to convict a bad guy for something terrible, you know, something that rhymes with, with grape. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Like, a uh, crepe? Like he made a bad batch of pancakes? He'll think much worse than that. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Jeez, yeah, that's real bad. Yeah, and this guy's like barely even trying to hide the fact that he's guilty. Okay. And so Daredevil uses his super hearing to listen to the guy's heart and then be like, yeah, no, this guy's definitely guilty. Even though that was completely obvious? Even though it was completely <laughs> obvious. And so how does that help him win the case? Oh, it doesn't. He loses. Oh. Yeah, but then his whole thing is that at night he dresses up like Daredevil to go serve justice himself. Because he's so bad at being a lawyer? Exactly, yeah. <laughs> gotcha. So he goes to this hardcore thing. bar where the guy's <laughs> hanging out and gets into a big fight with all the people there. Oh, very cool. Yeah, it's gonna be super cool. They're all gonna shoot guns at him, but he can hear the bullets, so he dodges them. Oh, maybe we could have some Nickelback playing Spider-Man head Chad Kroger. <laughs> That's a good move, because everybody loves Nickelback. And they always will. Anyway, so the fight <laughs> ends up in a subway station, but Daredevil gets all messed up because the train is too loud. How come the sound of a passing train messes him up, but the sounds of a bunch of guns firing helped him out? I don't know how loud, loud things are. Fair enough. So anyway, then he pushes the guy onto the tracks and he gets killed by a train. Oh my god. Yeah, so then the police oh show up and this journalist guy is like, this is the work of Daredevil. And they're like, no, it's not. Okay. So then the guy's like, oh yeah. And he throws a match onto the ground and this big oh, yeah. DD symbol lights on fire. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, pretty cool calling card, right? His calling card is a thing that doesn't work unless someone decides to start a fire at a crime scene. Well, it sounds silly when you say it like that. Can you explain it in a non-silly way? Get off my back. Oh, okay, let me get off of that thing real quick. Anyway, so later Matt's at a coffee shop with his partner Foggy and he smells a hot girl walk by outside. He can smell attractiveness through windows? Yeah, he smells how hot she is, so then he uses his blindness as an excuse to go hit on her. Oh, this guy's a creep. No, it's romantic. So anyway, he follows her to a park and grabs her by the arm because he wants to know her name. This guy's gonna get arrested. No, because it's flirty to grab women you don't know by the wrist on the street. Is it though? Yeah, that's how I met my girlfriend. Really? Yeah, and she fell so in love with me that she had to get a restraining order. What? That's when you love somebody so much that you can't restrain yourself around them, so you get the police involved. That's not what that is. Anyway, so she starts to fight Matt, and he starts to fight back, and it leads to this big martial arts showdown oh in the playground. God. What is going on? They're trying to hit a woman, and she's trying to hit a blind man. They're both coming off horribly in the situation. Horribly oh romantic. So anyway, she tells him that her name is Electra Nachios, and her dad is a billionaire. Okay. And it turns out that this bad guy, the Kingpin, wants him dead. Oh, yeah. Okay, so who are the bad guys in this thing? Oh, well, we've got Kingpin and then Bullseye. Okay, and what are their deals? Oh, well, Kingpin is super big. And what about Bullseye? Well, he's good at aiming and also super... Irish, I guess. Oh, he is? Yeah, in fact, Kingpin flies him in from Ireland, and he kills an old lady on the plane. Oh my god, what? Yeah, she won't stop talking, so he murders her with a peanut. Does this character have anything else going on other than being pure evil? Of course. <laughs> did I mention he's Irish? You did, yeah. Oh, well then I pretty much covered it. Oh, okay. <laughs> so then Bullseye's gonna end up killing Elektra's dad with Daredevil's weapon, so she thinks he did it. Uh-oh. Yeah, she's real <laughs> mad, so she starts training by stabbing falling sandbags in her mansion. What? How are the sandbags falling? Unclear. Huh. So 
then she wants to kill Daredevil, but she gets in a fight with Bullseye and she dies. Oh, death is usually permanent. <laughs> usually, yeah. So then Daredevil and Bullseye usually. get in a symbolism fight in a church and Daredevil <laughs> throws him out a window. Wow, he's not messing around. Definitely not. So then he goes to confront Kingpin, because Kingpin's the one who killed his dad and has been ordering all this evil stuff. Oh, so they fight. Yeah, they do. But right when you think Daredevil's gonna kill him, he doesn't. Why not? Because he's like, I'm not the bad guy. Didn't he throw Bullseye out a window like a couple of minutes ago? He did, but I guess he grew a lot in those past couple of minutes. Wow, <laughs> very sudden character growth. Yeah, so then Kingpin is like, you know I'm gonna get right out of jail, right? And Daredevil's like, yeah, and I'll be right there waiting for you. To do what? To put him in jail again eventually, I guess. But he'll just get out again. <laughs> and eventually be put back in, hopefully. I don't understand what Daredevil's going for here. Justice. I mean, okay. <laughs> and so yeah, that's Justice. about it. Well, sounds like a lot of fun. Yeah, you think so? Yeah, and I was actually hoping we could maybe do an Electra spin-off, but that's gonna be hard now that she's dead. Actually, it's gonna be super easy. <laughs> Barely an inconvenience. Oh, really? Yeah, we'll just give her one of those non-permanent deaths. Oh, that'll make for a good movie. Worst superhero box office bombs. So guys, I had to do this one. I had to. This is one of those movies where you watch it and, and you really don't really ever have to watch it again. It's, it's not a cult classic in any way. I like how both spoke to this being like his audition for the Batman role, which I, I'll be honest, he's one of my favorite Batman or Batman. Batman, Batman, Batman. He's my favorite interpretation of Batman, the character. Maybe not Bruce Wayne all the way, but uh, I think he had the best fighting style of any Batman we've seen on screen so far. That's my opinion. Let me know yours. But I like how they had that. I like how they had the, the piece of, you know, just the whole Bruce Wayne style killing of a parent uh, and how it just coincides. You know, it's Marvel's version, essentially, uh, which they have a number of, you know, characters I feel is like their Batman character. Like Black, Black Panther could kind of be like that. Daredevil, uh, Spider-Man in some ways. Like they've all kind of had that in common, uh, which all these ser heroes, you know, have something like that where par a parent or both parents are murdered and it pushes them to be heroic. You know, that's, yeah, that's what normally happens. I like this though. These are both funny. Okay, so this time I'm not going to give my pick. Some of you might already know what my pick is, but I want you guys to say what your pick is in the comments below. Let me know which one you pick. Pitch meeting or honest trailer. I'll be honest. This one is actually really, really close for me because a lot of the jokes were very similar. It's all about the delivery though. So I won't give mine now. Maybe I'll do it later. They both were very funny. They both were very funny. But I want to know what you guys pick, honest trailer or pitch meeting. And I showed them, I'm trying to do them, you know, out of order. I'm doing pitch meeting again because it keeps winning all the verses that I've been doing between honest trailer and then the one we did yesterday between uh, pitch meeting and how it should have ended. So I'm going to keep going. If it keeps winning, it will keep being in, in play. If it loses at some point or honest trailer wins or how it should have ended or something else that I put into the mix, if that wins, then that would be the one that, that goes up against another video. So we'll see. We'll see. It's all, it's really up to you guys. It's on you. So it's not on me. So let me know what you guys think of these videos here. Which one do you pick? Uh, let's talk about Daredevil a little bit. Let's talk about Ben Affleck as Daredevil, what they were kind of going for. I liked some of the characters that they, that they were trying to do here, but you know, it, it's just another version or another moment where you remember a lot of these actors are just being recycled to play multiple superheroes. You had Colin Farrell playing bullseye in this movie and you've got him showing up as penguin he'll be penguin in the batman which comes out now 2022 <laughs> but yeah i mean that when i first saw this i was kind of excited for it because it's marvel i'm like hey let's let's check it out and it felt like they were trying to do a spider-man batman mix it was just it just didn't work out i'm so glad that netflix did daredevil and that was for me the best show of the netflix marvel shows luke cage season one was fun i actually never watched season two because after i watched Iron Fist, I stopped watching them because Iron Fist for me, season one was awful and I stopped. I did go back later and watch season three of Daredevil because season two was my favorite. But Daredevil was the best. That was the best show out of the, out of the Netflix Marvel series. Uh, so, you know, let me know maybe even what's what was your favorite one. Jessica Jones, Punisher, which was pretty dope, but I never finished it. Daredevil or Luke Cage. Am I, am I missing one? Iron Fist. I don't even want to include that, though, because I just... I ugh, Such a bore. So yeah, that's all I've got for you guys. Those are my thoughts. Just a few that I wanted to kind of piece together here for you. Let me know what you think. Pick one. Honest trailer or pitch meeting. And then let me know what you think of that Daredevil movie. Uh, you know, it's 2003. So, you know, early days. This is even before Fantastic Four, which is, whew. So let's talk about it in the comments. I'm really enjoying the conversations we're having in there. 
Thank you guys for coming back. For those that do come back and watch and subscribe, thank you. I really, really appreciate it. I'm having a lot of fun. If you haven't subscribed yet, please think about subscribing now. Like this video, share it with someone if you think they enjoy this content and enjoy this channel. And I'm looking forward to all you guys' feedback, comments, and any ideas or suggestions you may have that you want me to try out with these videos, these verses, or any reactions. Let me know. I'll try it out. So thanks so much for watching. I will see you guys on the next one.